All right, on the project. My under cabinet lights that I have here, like you can tell, or when we've been doing our cooking videos for years. Well, I've got one here that uh, yeah, it burned out. i got it right here. The filament is definitely gone. So I look for replacements online and found some new LED ones. I'm going to turn this camera up, flip it down like this, and I'll open these up. Just arrived from China. Of course, everything's made in China. So, yeah, you know, I've got, I'm only going to need five. I got a deal for getting 10 of them, so I was like, hell, I'll just go ahead and buy 10. In case one goes bad, I got five replacements. So, all right, so here they are. I'm going to go ahead and do an open box here, show you what they look like. There they are. Fancy looking LEDs. Now these, well, it's actually, they feel kind of rubbery. Wow, that's different. But yeah, it's got the same, same hookup, same plugs. These are, I believe, T10 bulbs. Of course, the, the part number of these is, uh, uh, man, I think it's so small. It is a, uh, let me get my glasses, hold on. 110, all right, these are the G8 3014-48 LED. 110, 120 volt white LED lights. So that's what these are. Um, online, you know, I was looking for the replacement and uh, yeah, it looked like these were T10. I'll put, uh, I'll put the exact specs in the description. But yeah, so this is gonna be the replacement for these lights up here. So what I'll do, since this one's already out, I'll just go ahead and do it on camera so the little cover comes off. Um, yeah, it's got a UV filter 001. And these should just fit right like that. Perfect. Perfect fit and perfect weight. Yeah, be a nice comparison. I got some spots on the dryer, so I apologize for that. Um, lights up what's in front of them real nice. So yeah, these are definitely going to be brighter lights than uh, what I've got here. These yellow yellow lights, definitely a big improvement. So now what I'm going to do, turn the lights off and let them cool down so I can replace the rest. And I'll show you what they look like. Actually, I might as well go ahead and put this one, this cover back on while I'm waiting for them to cool down. There we go. I believe that's right. Yeah. Okay. So now we'll wait for it to cool down and I'll change the rest out. Okay. I'm going to do this one here. A little warm still. Whew. Yeah, I'm going to have to wait a little bit longer. They're still hot. Okay. I think they've cooled down enough. I'll get this box open here for the next bulb. Get that one ready to install. So I'm going to pull this one out. There we go. Something like that. And then the next one will go in something like that. Put the little cover back on. Okay. Next one. Uh, our, I'm getting the shot. Placement light is right there. There he is. Just like 
like that. And then I'll put the cover back on like that. And I'll find that line up. There we go. Like that. Placement bulb. Like that. Yeah. I right, get that cover back on there. This is a little bit of a pain. Nope, this one's not going to go back on. Oh, awesome. Okay, well, that's not really a requirement. Okay, that one out. box a little bit of a pain there we go like that okay so now we'll go ahead and pop them on oh yeah much better I mean that one yeah doesn't have a lid I really don't think it makes much of a difference with or without the lid. Oh, it's starting to pop off. Must have not gripped right. Well, there we are. All right. Only one didn't seem to want to go on right, but man, those things look good. Okay. Okay, nice. So yeah, that definitely lights everything up. Yeah, I got a mess here. But uh, for future cooking videos, this is gonna definitely add a lot more light on uh, on the counter here, which yeah, I don't have much of a counter, washer, dryer, and stove. That's just the way my kitchen is. Can't do a whole lot about that. But no, this looks good. I can probably find a replacement cover. These little these little tabs here, probably from the heat of the light, is probably what you know these things got brittle, but not a big deal. So yeah, all these halogen bulbs, I really don't need them anymore. I mean, I may still hold on to them, but you know, five of them. One of course is bad, which is this one. That's the one that burned out. So I'll toss it. These other four are still good. So I don't know. Maybe I'll hold on to them, maybe I won't. But yeah, now this adds a lot, more, yeah, a lot more light for future cooking videos in my kitchen. So, awesome. Well, there you go. Another quick product review. Like I said, I got a package of 10 of these. Uh, got them on eBay. Um, the price, let me check the price. Okay, that's them. 11:39 from China. E-packet delivery. So bought them on the 23rd. They arrived July 13. So you're looking at about three weeks. Um, yeah, about three weeks, three and a half weeks, something like that. So really not bad, you know, coming from China. Um, but yeah, these uh, yeah, 10 pieces. They're G8 T4. I'm sorry, they were not T10. Like I, I don't know where I got T10 from. I thought that's what they were, but nope, they are T4 LED bulbs. Um, silicone crystal equivalent, yeah, they're 
the silicone is the cover over them, you know, to make them look like a bulb, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, those are actually pretty impressive lights. So, yeah, that's, that's what I got right there. And again, there's the five lights in full display, so for future cooking videos, we've got a lot more bright light to view what creations are made in the kitchen. So, until the next thrilling video, or product review, Adios! Yeah, it looks even better with the other kitchen lights out, which are also LEDs, so most impressive.